So we'll just go over the slide just a little bit. So no tripod mount on this. Uh, so you, you, you're left to it just uh, table standing. So that's uh, a little bit uh, annoying as well as because the lantern part is behind the head here. Uh, you've also got no kind of way to, to hang it from the head either. So you're kind of left with just sitting it down uh, for that use or holding it. Walking around holding it, um, the, the head part sort of hides it uh, away from your eyes. Uh, so you can walk around with it a lot easier than you could uh, like the Sofin uh, LT1S lantern that I've got. Uh, which makes it real difficult to walk around with, just all the glare in your eyes. Uh, so that's great. Uh, the I really like uh, quite like the size of this in hand. You know, for for this large battery inside, uh, for it being this sort of long, uh, it's much better uh, rather than three uh, twenty one seven hundred cells in like a can, uh, like a soda can style light. So it is much uh, nicer in hand to to hold. Uh, the weight of this is about six hundred grams with the included battery, and that is going to make it just a little bit too heavy uh, for if I was going to take it camping. Uh, a little bit too big as well. Uh, I would really like to see like a 21700 uh, size battery uh, light and just make it yeah, much more portable. This is really good for like emergency backup. Uh, yeah, like at home for uh, power outages. Uh, it's got your power bank uh, on it as well, connected to my phone, uh, does fast charging well. Uh, yeah, so it's the, the battery type is uh, like lithium iron phosphate, a uh, different kind of um, battery running at 3.2 volts. Uh, the good, uh, the positive about this is it's uh, safer chemistry lot safer it's operating at lower voltage uh, and it's around uh, uh, 3,000 charge cycles instead of uh, normal lithium batteries around uh, about 500 cycles so this thing you, you most likely never gonna have to replace the battery on this uh, the the anodizing it's just a smooth anodizing no knurling much so it is a bit slippery uh, but probably not a big deal on this kind of light uh, you've got uh, your, your lanyard attachment on the tail cap uh, yeah so moving on yeah uh, these both these switches work really well and really nice uh, click to them you got the indicator in the middle the slider lever switch works well as well uh, one thing I do want to point out that I find uh, good is that this uh, battery here uh, the tube has uh, an inner sort of um, a narrower diameter so it stops this battery from sliding all the way through and I think it's the because of the the battery is heavier it would stop the compression of the positive spring but it also acts as a as like a safeguard for the battery if you drop this light this battery is not going to uh, smash into the spring and end up denting the positive terminal of the battery so that's uh, really good because you can wreck batteries doing that so yeah good uh, real good build quality on this the, so you've got the, the for the side lights you've got 60 LEDs uh, that are ranging from 2700 Kelvin through to 6500 100 Kelvin, uh, high CRI light, so it's very, very pleasant, uh, very, yeah, really uh, bright, surprisingly bright. Uh, the the RGB, so, oh, that RGB is just a bit too bright on camera just for my settings, but the, uh, the RGB, like the red color, cycles through far far too quickly like it yeah it changes through um it's very very difficult to stop on solid red and the rgb only cycles through one way you can't release the switch 
and press it again and get it to reverse the direction so you have to wait the whole time it goes around and then you can miss solid red again and then it just becomes really annoying uh, so personally as a, as a good um, useful backup light I would far rather just ditch the RGB and go for like a, a 616 nanometer uh, red a, a dark red uh, that is so much more useful than pretty colors for an RGB. Uh, but yeah, a lot, of, a lot of you guys like the RGB. So, I mean, it, it does look pretty cool, uh, some of the modes on this uh, for, the, for the RGB. But otherwise, you know, ditch it and get a, a nice dark red. Uh, because the red helps uh, a lot when it comes to uh, insects at night. Uh, you turn on red from a white light and they're gone you know this is just so much better so yeah moving on uh you know you've got the sft 70 in here a nice uh, large smooth reflector and this produces a really nice beam on it like perfect beam no no artifacts no inner or outer rings it is just such a nice beam to look at uh, the only thing is, you know, as expected, close range, like on a wall, um, you'll just see sort of sharp, uh, sharp uh, edges sort of around the hot spot, um, and that just disappears uh, out at a, a few meters. So, but that's just uh, normal to what to what to expect. Uh, yeah, there's a USB-C charging uh, on it. Uh, so one thing, I, like I would say, is a uh, uh, this like this doesn't have stepped like discrete levels. It only has smooth ramping, and as a as like what I would use this as like an emergency backup light. I would like to know how much hours I'm going to get on runtime uh, for each level. We're sort of smooth ramping. It's anybody's guess of how much you're going to get, and because this is a sort of a an odd you know size battery you're not able to easily just swap in spares uh so yeah you're stuck with just charging the battery inside this light and so you can't really at the moment this type of battery is not easily sourced um just anywhere so that's yeah that's the one thing there um another thing is i would love to see a smaller 21700 battery size uh, then I would I'd be much more uh, likely to to carry this uh, out for camping. You know, pop it in a bag. At the moment, this is a bit a bit big to throw in a pack. Um, but and and another thing is the I think for this kind of style light where the la where you've got the lantern, I'm not sure how well like how good of a pairing. A long distance spot beam is paired with like a lantern. Like you'd think it would be better off having a closer range, more floody LED uh, for this kind of light. But uh, this is, you know, excellent throwing distance on this, almost a thousand meters. It exceeds its specs. So overall, really, really happy with it. Highly recommended. I just, uh, just what you what each is going to use it for i think it's a bit just a bit limited for the size but yeah you guys let me know what you think anyway